Drew Madden, third state title. Congratulations, man. That's a good smile. I haven't seen a smile like that from you in a while, man. Yeah, it's just all the pressure is just... Uh, you dominated Parenti in your career with him, uh, in, going into that match. Um, you know, there's got to be people, people be saying, "Hey, he's due. He's due to beat you." You know, like yeah. how many times have you beaten him in a row? Uh, as far as I can remember. Yeah, like since you were kids, right? Yeah, I mean, we probably wrestled, I'd say, 20 plus times or since we've been. Beating. He's dangerous, though. You know, he's dangerous. He's very. Uh, uh, very, very funky. Grab and roll. In my match, he had me like a elevator, and I knew, but I knew like that's what he was going for. So I just dropped my hips, and uh, he went right down. But I mean, you definitely have to be aware. So catch ya. You look at Delta Wrestling. It's been built around you. You know, obviously, your dad is Delta's first day champ. Yes. It's been built around the Madden family. There's no question about it. But looking at it, you know. Um, you guys were champs when you were a sophomore or junior? Freshman. Freshman year? Junior. You were a champ, and then your junior year a champ. And you were a champ both of those. You were. I did not win my freshman, freshman year. Freshman year. You didn't win your freshman year. No. Okay, but in looking at it, you, you were two-time team champs. What so happened from we had those three, years? Three in a row. That D team say We had four in a row, actually. I was, I was like eighth grader the first time we won it, but yeah. Delta is, you know, a D3 power in the state of Ohio. What happened with your team this year from those previous um, years to this year? Um, obviously, when you have uh, a di I'd call it a dynasty, I'd say um, it, it's going to fall at some point, but then you rebuild. Um, if you think about it, all those kids who made Delta so great, all the 12 state qualifiers we had, they, their kids behind them were, were backups their entire career. And so we didn't have the depth because everyone wanted to get in the lineup. So like everyone adjusted. And then once everyone graduated, um, we had a bunch of young guys step in. And sadly, we had six season-ending injuries. So it was injuries. Two ACLs. We were young. I don't know if we could have got it done, but we definitely could have been a little higher up. We've been on the podium. We had six career-ending or six season-ending injuries. Talking to Joe McFarlane last night, um, he's a two-time state champion. He's your head coach. He yep. recruited you at Michigan, you know, to Michigan. You're going to Michigan. Um, I said, hey, what do you look for in a recruit? He said, we got a guy wrestling tonight in the semifinals. That's what we're looking for in a recruit. Knowing that you're the standard for what Michigan wrestling is looking for, they want team titles, they want trophies in the NCAA, they want to win the Big Ten. Knowing you're the guy they're looking for, and he used you as a model. What's that mean to you? It's great. I mean, they, they're such, they're so tight knit, and uh, I felt like I was part of a family. I haven't even, I've stepped in the room for RTC practices. I haven't even really, I hung out with the guys, and they made me feel like uh, I was a part of the team already. And uh, it's just nice to know that my hard work's paying off. All right, man, you got anything else for me? Fargo again this year? Fargo, for sure. Fargo, for that's sure? Where, that's where champions are made. All right, man. Got anything else for me? No, thank you. Congratulations on the third title. Oh.